Welcome to the Business Plan Pro Tutorial. I'm Tim Berry. I'll be your host. And what I'd like to do uh, to get started here is not talk about myself, looking at those bullet points, but talk about the tutorial tool. Please locate on your multimedia tutorial tool the pause bar the play bar, the bar that lets you stop me from talking and hold the tutorial off while you go to your Business Plan Pro and follow along. The idea of our tutorial is that I'll be talking and you'll be working with Business Plan Pro and as I type things in you'll type them on your computer in your Business Plan Pro and you'll follow along and see how things work. So let's both open Business Plan Pro now. Here you see in my screen one of the possible opening screens of Business Plan Pro. This is the plan setup screen from the plan wizard. And notice on this screen that right here in the middle, and my pointer is going to it, there is included in Business Plan Pro a tutorial that's the one that I'll be using actually to follow along step by step. And what I'm going to suggest is that you can take and resize your Business Plan Pro so that you can work with the tutorial and Business Plan Pro at the same time. Now this is double kill or triple kill in a way because you've got the multimedia tutorial to be working with but still as we see here the idea is that you're seeing the tutorial and Business Plan Pro at the same time. Now I'll leave that for now and get my window back so that I won't continue to show you that tutorial that corresponds but I will be following it and I do want you to follow along I will show you that when you start a new plan The dialogue that appears for that new plan includes the step-by-step -step tutorial exercise and we'll just take the next step here always remembering that you have a pause button so that you can pause this tutorial and type in on your own. So let's get started. We start this tutorial with the welcome screen in the plan wizard that comes up when you start a new plan. And as the tutorial suggests, we're going to click through and set up a starting plan. And we want to have this plan in January of 2006. And you'll see how I'm setting up the starting date for the plan. We're going to make the title my tutorial by clicking and typing and of course I just made a typing error there we go my tutorial we're gonna set up our name address zip we won't waste your time typing into this tutorial but you'll set that up or not and in the tutorial we suggest that you do and that yes you create a cover page automatically so that leads to a question that we'll answer in this case for the tutorial that we sell services. We're not a nonprofit organization. Notice I'm clicking the next button. We're not purchasing a business. This is for a startup business, not an ongoing business. We want a complete business plan. And uh, we would like to start with a less detailed business plan. This option only shows up if you have the premier version. If you have the business plan pro standard you won't see this option. But we're just going to go next. We're being offered additional topics that we will say thanks and we'll just go on here and yes we want to set up all of the financials now which will then take us to the next step of this tutorial. So in our next step we'll set up the tables for a hypothetical new company that will be in this case a graphic artist. 
We want the standard financials and we don't want to import data from QuickBooks. We don't want a second year of monthly financials. This is a premier option and not a standard option, so you might not even see this screen. But either way, we're going on, no, we don't want this option. Uh, we want a standard term business plan and we're going to forecast not by units but just by values to keep it simple for the tutorial. We do want the standard financials that plan cash flow better which is what we always recommend. This next question establishes how long we wait on average between receiving a bill and paying it. 30 days. No, we don't manage inventory in this tutorial case. And yes, we do sell on credit. On average, 25% of our work is invoiced to a customer who then pays us later. And on average, the waiting time to get paid is 60 days. So with that, we have now set up the financial part of the plan and we're ready to go to the next step of the tutorial. So here we are with the plan setup summary so we can review some of our settings. The tutorial suggests that we should click on the link, title, my tutorial, and see how we can review and change if we want that link. And then we would click back to plan setup summary to go back and display the summary once again. From the Congratulations dialog then, we can click Finish to close the Plan Setup Wizard and continue.